This is not a clickbait. What you see on our episode title ay totoo. We just received an exclusive update that the formerly Cyclone 400 or Classic 400 FI is now approved. Magandang umaga, no? Review lang natin tong Zhongshen Cyclone 400. It was June 8 when we released the first ever exclusive motowalk around review featuring this bike. Review lang natin tong Zhongshen Cyclone 400. It was first known to its original maker's name, Zhongshen Cyclone 400. Since then, many are asking, ano na nga ba ang latest update sa unit na ito? Ito na nga ba ang magiging first ever 400cc expressway legal unit ng Rusi? Well, as of production ng video na ito, mukhang malinaw na ang sagot. Now a few weeks back, nag-release ulit tayo ng panibagong update sa Cyclone 400 and we named it Rusi Classic 400. Exclusive Moto Walk Around series where we give exclusive updates and specifications of released, unreleased. Dito, mayroon ang makikitang changes. But before we do a comparison, let us answer this question muna. Bakit nga ba halos inabot ng taon bago i-release ang unit? First off, nung na-release ang video, the unit was fresh from China. In fact, the unit that you see sa video namin was the first ever Cyclone 400 in the Philippine soil. Zongshed Motors. So, uh, sa pagkakaalam namin, ito yung pinakauna dito sa Pilipinas ngayon na uh, unit. And given that the unit came from its original maker, Zongshen Motorcycles, of course, dada nito sa masusing configuration, testing, at calibration according to the Philippine market. Kaya, kung mapapansin nyo, Ilang videos din ang dedicated to its road tests. This is to show that the unit is undergoing its testing phase. Ito naman din ay para sa assessment kung swak ba sa market ng Pilipinas ang unit. After series of testing, dito na papasok ang necessary changes sa ilang features o specifications nito. Now, it's time to look at what has been changed from its first version to its current version or its final version. For its dimensions, there are no major changes. It still has the same length, width, and height. Most of the changes can be seen on its external features such as the added grab bar, the seat finish, the slightly enlarged radiator, and the mini windshield design. Adding to that is the all-new FCC clutch technology for smoother gear changing. Also, one of its key changes is that the first version only has 380cc displacement while the current and final version has 401cc, making it legitimately expressway legal. But before we talk further about this unit, as we are celebrating our 30th episode for exclusive Moto Walk Around series, syempre, we would like to give a shout outs and our appreciations to these people na talagang sumubaybay at sumuporta sa ating channel from the start. Of course, we would also like to thank those who gave their valued comments, suggestions, and subjective criticisms. And of course, we would like to special mention Ayahai Motovlog, Elenito De Vera, Mix JC, JBTV, Hiturikun, and Mayomi. Now for the shoutouts, we have Kanatay Motovlog, Kandon Crime Lab, Mikoy Moto, JP Reyes, A. Noriano, John Carlo Berasis, Angry Bikes, Tatsuya TV Moto Journey, JP Fungo, Mr. Pan, Financial Freedom Fighter, Jack Johnson, Rico Laurente, Romeo Batay Jr., Chris Villanueva, Ever Digan, Aldrin Ligado, Maynard Voltaire Lopez, Ira Pengson, Bigno Sacobal, Reynaldo Dumalo Santos, Joel Santos Iruan, Sufgran Abbas, Dennis Casanillo, James Cruz, Lester Regalado, Ray Olarte, Ronnie Estrada, Motorhorns Vlog, RJ Tariga, Pedro Kaki Kiocho from Italy, 
Lester Beats, Lester Villarus, St. Ives, Peter Jonathan B. Samson, June Bert Baguio Sumundong, Romena Martinez, TFB YouTube, Robles Jocelyn, Nixon Makabuhay, Alan Caliao, Urquiv's Blog, Tech to New The Growl 88 from Rusi Main de Muguete, Limbert Loxin, Charlie Los Banos, Tadski, Robert Fonorella, Randy Rodones, Rusi Main Parts Department, Henry Peñalosa, Mark Allen Arcano, Ryan Gabia, Lester Dan 24, JH Calixtro, Bren Bansal, Undermoto, Mag Music is Life, Julius Cesar Favilla, Marlon Bautista, Cedric, Infinite Motorcycle, Topper Bautista, Jimmy Mack, Renesel Patulin, MC Gutierrez, Lizel Senoy, and last but not the least, Sir Kidlat Bangis na ilang beses ding nagpahayag ng kanyang subjective criticism. We value and appreciate that. And of course, for those na hindi pa namin na shout out, we would request you to comment down below so we can add you for the next episodes. Going back, with the questions naman regarding our previews and recently uploaded episodes and its possibility of getting released, perhaps the answer is pretty clear na naman taking into account the classic 400. A simple explanation would be it is named a demo or a concept bike for a reason. If we uploaded an episode, it doesn't always mean that the possibility of the demo bike or a concept bike to get released is at its 100%. Basically, we are giving exclusive moto walkarounds for these units because it can be a potential addition to the motorcycle production of Ruzi. Also, by showing you these demos and concept bikes, you will get an idea that Ruzi is looking at a wide variety of samples, demos, and concept bikes. But as what I always say, is for exclusive updates, for exclusive updates, but of course, for exclusive updates, be sure to subscribe on our channel. You can rely on our channel for exclusive updates. So, most probably after this announcement and clarifications, your questions would be, kailan ang release date? When would it be released? Ang hinihintay na lang is the shipment of the units. The estimated release date would be later this year or the following year depending on some uncertainties that might occur. We would also like to share one of the Rusi Motorcycle Head's review for this unit, but we would not mention the person's name as per the company's request. One of the things written was, quote unquote, power distribution range per gear is fine. Shifting from gear to gear is also okay. Fourth gear could smoothly top at 115 kph but could be more if shifted to the sixth gear. Suspensions works well too even in rough road. Overall, the bike power and comfort are good. With that, we would like to leave a note that this information came from an authorized person that is part of the company. But sabi nga, to see is to believe. Let us all wait for the official announcement from Rusi Motorcycle itself and hope for the best. And again, this is episode 30 of exclusive Moto Walk Around series. Thank you.